Hey guys, Barry here. I just wanted to mention that this video is part of a course that I have on Udemy. If you'd like to support my work and get the full course, please use the link in the description below to get it at a discounted price. Thanks guys, back to the video. Alright guys, so I'm going to try and make things as simple as possible by actually removing most of our app and moving it into specific places. So let me just cancel running this because it will break. But what we're going to do is put our different files into actual components, into, into directories within our source file. So within there, we will put stuff around. Uh, my first plan is to actually make a core file for some of our a core directory. It's got a nice material UI icon theme as well. But we have a core directory here, and we will stick some certain components into our core. Uh, I like to do folders by having index items in them. So example, our service worker will end up having a, a wonderful little index file of itself, index.ts. Sorry, this looks a bit confusing because we basically, there's no other directories in here. So it, it ends up going one deep. So if I made another index.ts file on the top over here, but there we go, it goes open again. So our service, worker over here this doesn't really need to be in the root so we can copy this entire folder the contents of it and stick it in over here and that should be good to go which means we can delete the service worker i think things are freaking out doesn't want me to delete it okay it has deleted it now what we can actually do here is in the index of our core we can export all from dot slash service worker so this is the way imports and exports work. We have our service worker sitting in here. And if we export all from service worker, dot slash service worker is the same as saying dot slash service worker slash index. But because we've called it index, it is the root folder that we are looking at. So that's why I like to name everything index and put them in directories more like this rather than the other way around. So our structure will change a lot to the default create react app, but it will make sense as we write our code and move along. So that is just one thing. Um, obviously this index TS stuff over here is not going to work anymore because we're importing all as service worker from the service worker, which is not ideal. What we actually want to do now is we need to import in this case, look, we're importing all the service worker slash unregister, but you could have actually just imported just unregister from service worker, but because this has moved to core, we can say import this from dot slash core. So I can remove that and remove that. And now I kind of need to explain what is going on. I'm going to remove this as well. It's not really useful. Um, it's just boilerplate. It's, it's a bit of a tip of what you can do. You don't have to remove that. I just like to remove things that I find redundant. And what we're doing here is we are importing unregister from our core module. The core module, if you can see here, here's our index that we're looking at now. I'm actually going to close all of these. We're looking at this index page. In the same path directory, we have core. In core, we have an index file. This is where I want to actually uh, split it out. So I need to save that actually. We have this index file in core. And this index file exports all from the service worker. So service worker has a bunch of functions. It, it exports register and it, it also exports unregister. So it, it exports both register and unregister. So that's why you have to export all from service worker. So we're exporting register and unregister from here. And that's being exported from our core index. So that means in our, our actual source index, we can import from doc core because it's in the same one. Um, random fact, I like to split up our node module imports from our source imports. And, and this I like to keep alphabetical because I'm weird and OCD that way. But theoretically, this, this project should still work. So if I run yarn start, I'm hoping it still works. If there's something that went wrong, then we are a bit screwed but otherwise we're good to go. Um, I'm gonna try and remove as much from this project as possible. 
and there's a reason to that oh, the reason my fav icon was different there is because i'm working on a different project and it's stored in the cache for local host so my fav icon is going to look not like the normal one that you have it will look like my work project that i'm currently working on so there we go our project still works i'm going to try and remove as much of the useless stuff as possible because we need to start from scratch and actually build our application so this logo we don't need i'm going to delete the logo um, it does mean that I'm going to have to remove it from here because we're importing the logo um, and the logo is used over there. In fact, this whole file, we, we're just going to, we can remove app. We can remove the entire app.js and I'll show you why. We're going to remove the app test. We're just going to remove everything because, you know, I'd, I'd rather show you how things are built from scratch than having you try to figure out how all this stuff works. We don't even need the index CSS. So once we're done here, we're left with just these two. Um, we can stick our setup tests folder. The setup test file has to be named setup tests.ts. Unless you eject your application, it has to be named this. Um, I'm also going to remove that because we don't need that information. You might need it later, so you don't have to, but I will remove it just so it's more simple. But I can keep the same name. I'm just going to stick it into core so that it's stored in a place where, you know, everything's nice and neat. This React app dash NV, ENV, this does need to be here. This is also one of those create React things where we, we need to eject it if we want to change our application to call this something else or move this somewhere. So this needs to be there. Setup test just needs to be named setup test. And that is all we really need. Um, obviously, our linter is saying something's wrong here. We can't import app from app because there is no .app file in here anymore. So I can remove that. And I'm going to replace this app with just a div. Um, and in the div, I will write hello world because that's wonderful. So everything should still be theoretically working again. This index.css doesn't exist, so that is why this is crashing. So if we remove that, our application should should start running again. But obviously, if we go look at our application, it's just a hello world application now. But now we have a blank clean slate, so we are able to actually go and develop things. So already things look a lot cleaner, a lot easier to manage. We can see that we have our index, and this is all we have in there. And we have our core. We'll obviously be making more directories, but in general, I think this is just a nice top way view of looking at it. So we go down deep into things. So you can even control click here or command click. This will take you to the unregistered method. It, it digs all the way down to this is where it is. It's being imported from here. And you know, you can go one level up and it's imported from here. So you can see that and you can see the core, you know, core is this service worker is this and our unregister function is down here so you can kind of navigate quite easily throughout your project by just control clicking on things if you control clicked on this it'll take you to the actual node modules which is this massive folder of a mess so i'm going to close that so that never happens again but that is basically how how we have simplified our project to be an ugly mess but don't worry in the next video we will clean it up using some styled components and start building our application components out to make it visually appealing cool i'll catch you guys in the next video cheers